A Cleveland man faces charges this morning in a long-standing missing child's case. Investigators always thought that Julian Hernandez's father stole him in 2002, but they couldn't find him. They used technology to create an image of what he looks like now. After 13 years, it was the teenager's own detective work that uncovered his true identity. Elaine Quijano of our digital network, CBSN, is here now with the mystery finally solved. Elaine, good morning. Good morning. The FBI and the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children looked into hundreds of leads from across the U.S. and Canada. But in the end, Julian Hernandez found himself. The missing child poster said Julian has a small freckle on his left cheek near his mouth. He's three feet tall and 43 pounds. Julian Hernandez was five years old when he disappeared. On August 28, 2002, Bobby Hernandez was supposed to drop his son off at preschool. Instead, he took him from the Birmingham, Alabama suburb of Vestavia Hills, traveling more than 700 miles north to Cleveland, Ohio, where they assumed new identities. He's always talking about his son. All he wanted him to do was be able to go to college. When the now 18-year-old was applying to college, he discovered his social security number did not match his name. With the help of a school guidance counselor, he saw his listing on a database with the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children. Police in Vestavia Hills talked with his mother. She had been through so many false claims. She had been through chasing leads for 13 years, and she just was kind of apprehensive but real excited. FBI agents in Cleveland took Bobby Hernandez into custody Monday. The 53-year-old has been charged in Cuyahoga County Court with tampering with records. It was just great for me to be able to tell the mother that all this time he has been alive and he is doing well. Bobby Hernandez is being held on $250,000 bond and is expected to be extradited back to Alabama on a felony arrest warrant. Authorities have not said when Julian's mother will be reunited with him. They say it's up to him since he's legally an adult now. Anthony? It's amazing that little boy ends up solving his own case yes. later in life. And how must he feel about his dad?